The COVID-19 pandemic was a wake-up call, showing us how quickly life can change. For those of us in the survivalist community, it reinforced the need for preparedness and taught us valuable lessons. Let's dive into what we've learned and how to apply these insights to be ready for the next crisis. Stockpiling Essentials Early in the pandemic, we all saw how quickly store shelves emptied out. Items like toilet paper, disinfectants, and canned goods flew off the shelves. This highlighted the importance of stockpiling essentials. But stockpiling isn't about hoarding. It's about being prepared without creating scarcity. Start with a checklist of essentials, food, water, hygiene products, and medical supplies. Gradually build your stockpile, ensuring you have enough to last at least three months while still leaving enough on the shelves for others. Rotate your stock, using older items first to keep everything fresh. Adapting to change, COVID-19 forced us to adapt in ways we never imagined. From working remotely to homeschooling, we had to adjust quickly. This adaptability is a key survival skill. In any crisis, things may not go as planned, so being flexible is crucial. Practice this by setting up contingency plans for different scenarios. For example, if your primary food supply runs low, know where you can find alternative sources or how to grow your own food. Adaptability isn't just about logistics, it's also about mindset. Stay open to new information and be ready to adjust your plans as the situation evolves. The power of community. During the pandemic, we saw communities come together like never before. Whether it was neighbors checking on each other or online groups sharing resources, the importance of community became clear. In a survival situation, having a support network can make a huge difference. Start building these connections now. Get to know your neighbors, join local preparedness groups, or connect with others online. Sharing knowledge, resources, and support can strengthen everyone's chances of getting through tough times. Mental and physical health. Survival isn't just about physical supplies. It's also about maintaining your health. The stress and uncertainty of the pandemic took a toll on many people's mental health. That's why it's important to develop resilience. Regular exercise, a healthy diet, and mindfulness practices can help keep you strong, both mentally and physically. Consider adding activities like yoga or meditation to your routine to reduce stress. Physical fitness is equally important. In a survival situation, you may need to carry heavy loads, walk long distances, or perform other strenuous activities, so staying in shape is essential. Preparedness as a lifestyle. Perhaps the most important lesson from COVID-19 is that preparedness isn't a one-time thing. It's a lifestyle. Regularly review and update your plans. For instance, check your emergency contacts every few months, update your supplies, and keep learning new survival skills. Consider taking courses in first aid, gardening, or self-defense. The more skills you have, the better prepared you'll be for any situation. Also, stay informed. Keep up with news and developments that might affect your preparedness plans. The more proactive you are, the less likely you'll be caught off guard. Conclusion: The pandemic was a stark reminder that we live in an unpredictable world. By learning from our experiences and taking proactive steps, we can be better prepared for whatever comes next. Remember, survivalism isn't just about surviving. It's about thriving in any situation. By stockpiling essentials, staying adaptable, building community, prioritizing health, and embracing preparedness as a lifestyle, you'll be ready for the next crisis, whatever it may be. Stay safe, stay prepared, and remember, the best time to prepare is now.